I social. I know you're going through so much right now, mm. and all I can say is I'm so sorry. Talking to you under these this, this circumstance, and um, how, how are you taking this? Losing such a legendary, beautiful young girl. Um, Asama tu ye no biya wofi e habi ada kana kuma ye ni ababa akope ye doba ba akope ye ni ane ya shi ya di ye ni na ye ni msusa chedi apo nyako pondi ne krabe si ye ya ba ye within this short while the ayah sister na ye na no day e Ghana this year no ye busi ya di e si wofi e busi ya sabi ye Ghana this year si impai ba ye bonde se chedi apo hata strong fan ne krabe si ye baby pa ma ye. No one share the jumas one and cosso and cosso and cosso. Auntie has him pono, or by any sense, the Missia Munina. I mean, if you're Ghanaian, you're, I'm sure you're as heartbroken as I am. My name is Brown Berry for iSocial TV. Now, today's show is actually us trying to show you what we tried to do when we lost the amazing Prisla Poku Kwarten to a tragic road accident that happened on 8th of February. Now, this is just eight days before her 21st birthday. And uh, if you've been in Ghana for the past couple of weeks, you know the emotions that we've all felt all this while. The truth of the matter is that a lot of us, just like me, actually believe the level she had gotten to in her career, it was only right for her to just fly. But unfortunately, there were plans that was much bigger than all we had for her. Now, we're heartbroken, we're sorry this happened, but the truth of the matter is, what can we do? Now, we went on the streets with a drone in hand, with a picture of Ebony in hand, just to let you know that we love her very, very much. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is to call the rest of the guys on the team to just join us, to just join me here so that, yes, we all talk about, uh, you know, very bonified experiences that we had with her, the people that met her before, the ones that never got her. I mean, that we had fun actually daring her to watch cars on ice social some time back. And, uh, Charlie, guys, let's do this. Just join me. Let's make it happen. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start. This is K. This is Francis. This is Melvin. That's my man Hunter. We actually have some. Two, uh, Della join me, Charlie. Jeff, you can also come. Let's, let's just let's quickly let's 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 let the whole world know. I mean, Rough Town Records has lost something very amazing. Not just them. The whole of Ghana has actually lost a gem because a lot of people believe right after her European tour, she was gonna become an icon for not just Ghanaian music but African music. And it's sad that Charlie that had to happen. Did you, Melvin, did you ever get to meet her? I had the chances of being with her, shooting and stuff like that, but it was, it was sudden to hear that she passed away. Did you, well, I, want, I want to hear your, your evidence. The day that she actually passed on, that very moment I heard it and I thought maybe the media or the guys were just trying to, one person was just trying to train the blog or train the website or something like that and I was so shocked when I later saw the pics and media houses like TV stations talking about it, I was so there man. Sure, I mean the family should stay strong. Francis, you have anything to say? Definitely. Uh, she, she was somebody that as soon as I I saw her. I knew she was going to to make it. She had she had everything. She's talented. She's she's fun with you know very down to earth. And everybody was supposed to come on the show again. We were actually planning, but because she was you know she was busy. Lady was all over performing all over the country. She was very very busy. So for me, I'm I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm sad that such a a talent can leave us the way uh, she did and um, I believe I believe there's there's a reason why she achieved so much and it should touch everyone to go for your dreams and don't give a hoot about what anybody says just go for your dreams if you believe in your dreams just go for it and at the end of the day 
we'll sit here and then talk about you just like we're doing for our sister who's achieved so much in such a short time we should celebrate her that's that i would see beautiful pictures of her i would see happy smiley pictures of her if you have a picture of her in in a horrible state delete it the music is going to stay on in our ears in the radio on tv forever the only thing I have to say is the one time that uh, we were actually supposed to meet with her, we just met with uh, Bullet and uh, Alan. And they had so much plan for her. They had so much plans for her. You know, we are just waiting for 2018, you know, to see the real Ebony. You know, it's very sad. It's so sad. And. Uh, I'm hoping that Ghanians won't just waste her death, you know. I keep saying it, don't waste her death on Prophet said this and the other thing, you know. I think we should actually make sure that this thing affects something here in Ghana. The roads, the roads, I keep saying, it's dangerous. Let's do something about it. This should not happen again and again and again. I mean, this should be the last time. That's what I'm actually really hoping for. Rest in peace, Ebony. Rest in peace. This girl has so much. She has so much life around her. Like, it's crazy. Like, how can somebody with so much life in her and around her, her personality was just amazing. Like, you don't really have to meet her to for her personality, do you know what I mean? Um, one of the, I would say probably one of the best things that ever happened to the female industry uh, in that sense, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad. But we, we've lost the gem, uh, period. Um, she was one of a kind, period. can I say but to say that we definitely will miss um, this greatest diva songs chess I mean her death definitely untimely and really painful I was horrified when I heard the news that morning I was I was getting ready to go on the show GH today and then director just walks into the makeup room and says have you guys heard that Ebony's dead like just like that and I was like no way you know, so I just kept quiet that moment, and probably because um, as a mother, I was thinking how her parents would take this information. Just when the cheers, the applause were all getting louder, she, she left. It is painful, and I know that to the music industry, the entire, uh, you know, media industry, let me say Ghana, because of course, um, the country has lost, you know, a gem. Uh, we will miss her. Ebony Reigns, you definitely will be missed. We never will have a replacement for you. We can only say that sleep well. And we will forever have you in our hearts. My name is Bayes Wadawana Haman. I'm host, GH Today on GH1 TV. In fact, uh, I'm saddened. I don't even know what to say. The first time I heard of Ebony's death, I thought it was one of those publicity stunts. But when I got to the one week celebration, I realized that our girl is gone for life. Charlie, to be honest, Ebony, no size. She was indeed the bad girl of the 90s. If you watch her, the way she sings and the way she performs and acts, no, no girl, no girl. May you rest in perfect peace, Ebony. 90s bad girl for life. Uh, I'm a very big fan of Ebony and the news totally broke me. It's very difficult to come by good talent in Ghana these days and she was one of the rising stars. It's rather unfortunate that she lost her life prematurely. We can't do anything about it, but all I can say is that we should try and learn from them. 
should learn some lessons from such tragedies. Try and drive slowly. Pay uh, extra caution to the road because there are a lot of things that are not within our control. So we have to go the extra mile to try and protect ourselves. I would like to extend my deepest condolences to Ebony's family, to all her fans, to all her supporters, and even the ones who criticized her because we have truly lost uh, a rising star. You see the drone flying around, that's an uh, ISO show. They're doing a little tribute uh, for dance hall, the late dance hall artist. Ebony, may her soul rest in peace. Yo, um, what's up guys? Um, I, st I still can't get over the fact that she's gone, but she's gone and things will never be the same without her in Ghana music and with those who are really close to her. So uh, I just want to tell her family and her really tight close friends, not the ones who are just using social media to get publicity and stuff, her real friends that, I mean, they should take it easy and everything will be all right. May her soul rest in peace. Ebony, we still love you. Hello, my name is Denise, Marketing Manager at Akram Mall. Um, music and entertainment is an integral part of the fun and joy of Akram Mall. And um, certainly the sad loss of Ebony Reigns has been um, impactful in terms of her fans, um, the shoppers that visit here, who her fans are the shoppers who visit here, and obviously the entertainment industry. Um, fortunately, she was able to visit one of our sister malls, the West Hills Mall, and did a fabulous, massive concert last year, which, you know, really broke records in terms of the retail landscape in Ghana. Um, I think her death will has definitely changed the landscape of the entertainment industry and, and it's a shame that she wasn't able to come here and grace us here at Akram Mall. Um, she was a young soul, a bright soul, um, a soul that had so much to give and um, we just pray that wherever she is that she rests in eternal peace. He told me he was a banker, no no when bank robber. This man is a gangster, bukum bankum boxer. I'm sorry I'm no pie, but I'm bubba dango. Hi there, I'm Adiza Abdullah Abu, marketing supervisor, Electroland Ghana Limited. Yes, when the Ebony news broke, we were all sad. Um, on behalf of Electroland management and staff, I'd like to extend our warmest sympathy to her family, to the soldier and her friend. We are, we are, we are sad, we were touched. One thing I learned from this is that you have to go for whatever you believe in. If you believe in becoming a carpenter, start it today. Because imagine at this tender age, if she didn't follow her passion, she would have been dead and gone with this kind of spark. So I learned a great lesson from her death. I'm going for what I believe I can be. From the bottom last bit, you raised me up. See all the bad things I did, oh, you still did bless me. And now I see you. We just woke up one morning and to hear such a vibrant and upcoming, uh, I mean, and talent that was, I mean, putting the map of Ghana all over the world. It's sad and um, I just, I think it took me like about um, three or four days to overcome the fact that somebody like Ebony, I mean, has passed. Looking at how vibrant she is, looking at how active, I mean, every song that comes out of, um, I mean, like, you know, becomes a hit instantly. Our empathy to the family. We want to also say like um, um, our condolences to all the whole of Ghana, and then I think we also want to say that um, upcoming artists and then um, the government and, and then the country as a whole, we should all try as much as possible to be one when it comes to like I mean controlling of road accidents. Ebony, today we want to say that may your soul rest in peace. We love you. 
and we will continue to support your music.